based on the request from my subscribers i have created this genetic engineering slide as you can see here uh, maybe it's called a dna which i have designed with a curved one with a orange and red color combination you can see here and then i have just moved this two dna's apart and then i have added some title here i have put some icons like fingerprint you can add the title and the detailed text here and for this also you can add some detailed text and i have created one more slide where i have used a slide something like this with a white background so depending on your requirement either you can select this slide or this slide so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease the size and I'm going to reduce the width by dragging this small orange point towards the outside. You can see here, maybe this much size, I'm going to keep it. And shape outline, you can make it no outline. And then I'm going to cut the circle into half with the help of merge shapes. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the half of the shape you can see here. Now the problem uh, with uh, the older version is you don't have this merge shapes here. So you have to use the latest version in order to uh, get the merge shapes. So I'm just going to select maybe this one and then I can just increase the size. You can see here I can simply increase the size something like this without holding the shift key. So you can see I'm just going to cut only this part. So I'm going to select the rectangle first or sorry circle first and uh, hold the shift key and select the rectangle under merge shape you can simply say subtract you can see here subtract it so you end up getting this shape if you want to reduce the size you can reduce it increase it depending on your requirement and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here and then i'm going to rotate it flip horizontal so I'm just going to add it one more here, press Ctrl D, again rotate it and I'm going to add one more here. Make sure that there's no gaps here and you need to just zoom a little bit and make ensure that this is properly aligned. So you can just spend a little bit more time to do the proper alignment. You can see here it is properly aligned and this is also I need to align it. So you can see here this is properly aligned but the size is just going up not a problem. So uh, I'm going to select all these three you can see here by holding the shift key press ctrl G to group it and then you can just reduce the size you can see here you can either make it like this or this much size I'm just going to put it here. And you can add one more small here so for that also you can add it so Later on you can add that one. I'm just going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. You can see here and then go to format, rotate. I'm going to rotate flip horizontal. You can see here and then just make it something like this. You can see here and later on you can add one more shape which you can just add it at the bottom also. So I'm not going to add that one. So it's easy for you or let me just add also if you want so that you don't have any issues later on so i'm just going to select this or let me just ungroup this you can see here and this also i'm just going to ungroup it all right and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here and i'm going to rotate it all right and then you can see here let me just zoom a little bit and align it properly you need to spend a, some time here to align it properly you can see it is aligned properly and then this part on the top part i'm going to use again the merge shape to delete this one so you can see here i'm just going to select this then hold this and subtract it you can see here and press ctrl d this one i'm going to add it at the bottom and for that you need to rotate it the proper way whichever you want see here i've just rotated this one 
and then I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to add this side you can see here press Ctrl D and I'm going to add at the top and again you need to rotate it you can see here again spend a uh, some time to do the proper alignment so once this is done let me just group this one i'm going to select or you can just hold the shift key and select one by one with the help of a mouse click press ctrl g and this also i'm going to select one by one and press ctrl g now bring this something like this you can see here we end up getting the shape something like this and then i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a okay ctrl a and ctrl g group it and i'm just going to rotate it here can you see here and then hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here just increase the size something like this so this is the basic shape uh, of the dna is ready and now it's time to add more detail uh, shapes now now I'm going to add some circles on top of this line so I'm going to select this and the shape fill I'm going to make it somewhat lighter color and later on you can change the color as per your requirement then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size we can see here and later on again you can increase or decrease the size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use the red color so let me just start from here press ctrl d you can see here first of all i'm just going to make one size okay and later on based on the requirement i can change this press ctrl d keeps on changing this one adding this one ctrl d so likewise you just need to do it let me just show you one by one quickly so press ctrl d keep on ctrl d press it so and make sure that the oval shapes are on the the line don't deviate it so let me just do it again so likewise you can see here within one or two minutes i'm just about to finish the one side of the design you can see here press ctrl d that's it so this is the one side it's done now it's time to add the other side so it's very simple again i'm going to select this press ctrl d bring it here ctrl d you can see here and later on we can increase or decrease the size doesn't matter so just do it like this and complete the design all right just finish all these things so you can see here i've added the dots everywhere so now this one i'm just going to select and change the color to some orange one so you can see here just press the f4 key let me just add one more time and i'm just going to press f4 key you can see here just select it and press f4 key f4 key is nothing but a repeat so it's repeating whatever the last step you do so just keep on doing it in a zigzag manner you can see here now i've added two different colors now if you want you can change the size of these uh, bubbles or you can say the circles so i'm just going to select this one and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here something like this and then add it here even for this also hold the shift key reduce the size so likewise you can just reduce the size of this one something like this you can see here but you have to make sure that you have to hold the shift key so like this you can just 
change now you can see here the it is a smaller then become a bigger and again it's smaller so the same pattern you need to follow it everywhere just you need to hold the shift key and then reduce the size so like this you can do it so quickly i'll just do it if you don't hold the shift key then the size will not be correct the height and width will change so you need to make sure that it is properly selected so this one also i'm just going to select this one hold the shift key and reduce the size this also this one as well so like this you can just change the size and then it's simple to add the lines in between for that go to insert shapes select the line you can see here i'm just going to add the line and give it as a gray color or whichever color you want press ctrl d you can see here you can just simply add the lines like this if you want to attach it also to each bubble the other side that also can be done but it is up to you whether you want to attach it or you want to just add in between so add the line here the last line you can see here and then i'm just going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate add it for this one ctrl d again add for this and i'm just going to select this one you can see here this three press ctrl d and add it the other side you can see here and if you want you can just reduce the size by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line you can see here something like this you can do it and i'm just going to add these three lines press ctrl d this side so you can see here our uh, design is ready and if you want we can just change the background to any gradient fill background okay or if you want you can just leave it as it is also and now i want to add some points here or some options so i'm just taking this out i'm going to genetically modify this dna maybe i don't know what it is called you can see here i'm just going to move it out go to insert shapes i'm going to select the hexagon or any shape of your choice you can just select it and rotate it you can see here and shape outline you can make it black gray or whatever shape fill make it no fill let me just put it straight this is one i want to add one for here you can see here i can add it here and two more i want to add it one for here and another for this side so it's up to you how many you want and to join this one i'm going to use this uh, a connector elbow you can see here i can just join like this press ctrl d and i'm going to join this one with this you can see here and then i can just insert some straight lines from this you can see here again ctrl d to duplicate and this with this and if you have the icons specifically if you're using the latest version you can get these icons or i have provided some icons you can download from my channel also so i'm just going to select these four uh, icons you can see a heart lungs kidneys and stomach and go to insert you can see here it has been added i'm going to give maybe some light colors and the height and width i'm going to make as 0.6 you can see here then i'm going to add stomach here kidneys the lungs and the heart and then you can go to insert text box you can add detail text here all right so you can add the detail text press ctrl d add it here ctrl d add for this and if you want you can add some title also so with this you can see here uh, we have completed the genetic engineering uh, design or graph whatever you say it
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye